In our search for a better way to make a living, we've come to the conclusion that becoming an entrepreneur is actually safer than being an employee. And through our look at the entrepreneurial options, one particular path kept coming up from expert after expert. And I think most people will find it surprising because it's certainly a non-traditional business model. That model is for people to start their own business and become an entrepreneur through the creation of a network marketing business. Some people call it direct selling because the product is being sold directly from the manufacturer to the end consumer, cutting out the middlemen. Other people call it multi-level marketing or MLM because there are multiple levels of commissions paid. The most common term today is network marketing because network marketing best describes using a large group of independent distributors, independent entrepreneurs, to move a product or service more efficiently. So my friend here, Donald Trump and I, we always write about the network marketing industry. And the reason we support the network marketing industry is because it really is a business school for entrepreneurs. Because most people come out of school looking for a paycheck. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I would go into network marketing like that. I think if it didn't exist, we should invent it. It is that good. I think direct selling is a great way to do business today. It's uh, very easy to get into that industry and you can be self-employed, be in effect an entrepreneur. When we see multi-billionaires adding network marketing companies to their portfolio of companies, that would be a clue. When we see people who are very famous authors and very famous business people endorsing the industry, that would be a clue. These network marketing companies aren't $50 million companies. They're billions and billions of dollars. They lead the stock market. They're major companies. When we're going to get it, you know, and you're going to school to work for a paycheck, but if you want to be rich, be an entrepreneur, and network marketing gives you the spirit to be an entrepreneur. A traditional company will spend up to 50% of their total revenue on marketing. Network marketing companies use a different approach. Instead of having all that extensive marketing expense, they utilize a network of independent distributors to do the marketing for them. Now, why do they do this? First, because word of mouth advertising is so much more effective today than traditional media advertising. Second, some products need to be explained or demonstrated, and an independent salesperson can do that more effectively than an ad campaign. Third, it's completely efficient. The company only pays for the marketing of their product if a sale happens and not before. Imagine if Amazon allowed you to become an independent distributor and paid out 40% of its revenue to that distributor group. All you had to do as a distributor was recommend a product. And if a person bought it on Amazon, Amazon would take care of all the logistics and you'd get paid for bringing the customer. Now imagine you got paid for every purchase that customer made for the rest of their lives. Well, Amazon doesn't offer this option, but network marketing companies do. 85% of all buying decisions in our society are made as a result of word of mouth or reputation. We're recommending things to each other all the time. You know, who's your dentist? Who's your doctor? Who's your lawyer? What detergent, you know, are you using? What legal system are you using? What product are you using? We're, we're talking to each other about the things that we love anyway. When you go into a big box retailer, you're lucky if the clerk looks you in the eye, much less gives you any detailed or accurate information about what you're purchasing. Uh, so, of course, this personal information, this education coming from a friend, a neighbor, a relative, or even a stranger, but who, one who has experience with the product is extraordinarily valuable. As a matter of fact, uh, network marketing can educate consumers probably better than any other form of marketing. It certainly can do better than advertising because advertising usually has a certain hype to it and you can only get limited information. So, you know, network marketing trumps advertising. If you were a typical sales company and you wanted to sell a million dollars a month worth of product, you might go find a hundred superstar salespeople. The quota would be $10,000 a month. So network marketing as a distribution system just flips the numbers. So we use 10,000 happy, raving fans of a particular product, and we don't concern ourselves so much with how much product each one of them individually sells. If they sell just $100 or $200 a month, and there's 10,000 of them, you're selling a million to two million dollars a month worth of product. And that's the best way I can explain how network marketing works. This is the marketing arm of the company. 
There's not money being wasted on bricks and mortar. There's not money being wasted on inventory that's sitting stagnant somewhere. There's a lot of employees standing around that don't have customers. These are people that are going to connect with customers. These companies allow people to become independent distributors for extremely low cost and with no minimum time or sales quota. Essentially, they own their own business and can provide as much or as little sales as they choose. In other words, the distributor gets all the benefits of traditional business ownership without the risk. The advantage of network marketing is the ease of entry, the low risk, and the low startup cost, because almost everything else has very high risk. You can get in for a minimal investment. You're buying into a system that's already been proven, products or services that have been proven to work. The keys to network marketing is providing an opportunity for the masses to get involved, providing an opportunity for the average person who doesn't have the resources to start their own business. All of this so far is fairly straightforward, but network marketing offers another benefit and it's this benefit that makes it so interesting for entrepreneurs. Network marketing allows a distributor to build their own network of other distributors and then compensates them on the sales created by that entire group. Direct selling is, at its base, very simple. It's the sale of a product or service to an individual on a face-to-face, one-on-one basis, just the way we're talking right now. But there's an important element as well, and that's the offering in con conjunction with that sale of product, the offering of an opportunity, an opportunity for someone to make something of themselves. No matter what your social status is, no matter what language that you speak, I mean, look how many unbelievable people are becoming successful that speak every kind of language out there. What an awesome gift to give the world. Instead of having to work your way up in a system and prove that you could be a sales manager, they just decided everybody can be a sales manager. Everybody gets to build a sales team from day one. And so what that brought into the system of growth as a direct selling company is the concept of compounding or geometric progression. Because now you can actually grow a sales force very quickly because everybody is enrolling people in their own sales force. People who are like, oh, this is weird, I'm building a sales team, well, what do you think you do at a regular company? How do you think a regular company works? Network marketing is the only industry that doesn't say your past determines your future. It looks at your past and says, okay, now what can we train you to do so you can have a great future? future. Every other employer out there wants to exploit you for what you already know, not teach you something new. Network marketing has the potential to save the United States and the world because it's going to teach people not to be employees, but to be entrepreneurs.